in case you hadn't noticed, Barack Obama recently won re-election to the presidency, and as a result, oceans will boil, fire will rain down from the heavens, the world will end, and delicious cream-filled orange sponge cakes will disappear from your store shelves forever. So what do you do? Well, more than 100,000 people in Texas think that the answer is to secede from the union and have sent a petition to the White House to show that they mean business. And let's face it, there would be benefits that would absolutely make secession very attractive to a lot of Lone Star knuckleheads. I mean, the whole illegal immigrant thing would cease to be a problem for Texans when all the Mexicans who had snuck across the border realized that they were now living under the reign of President Rick Perry. Man, those illegals would be over the border into Oklahoma or Louisiana or even back home to Mexico so fast that you'd think forest fires and hurricanes were sweeping through the state without FEMA or the National Guard to render any assistance, which of course they wouldn't be since Texas would no longer be a state. But worst of all, Texans would also no longer be part of the NFL or even college football for that matter, which I suspect is something which most of those 100,000 goofballs who signed the petition never considered. I mean, sure they'd be willing to give up the flag, the armed forces, social security, and NASA, but just the thought of giving up football, well, that's just one rodeo too far for the average Texan to travel. Oh, and the thought of losing their lock on the 38 votes Texas has in the Electoral College means that you'd never get a single Republican member of Congress the vote to allow Texas to secede. So suck it up, Texas, and get used to Obamacare because you want that Super Bowl so bad you can almost taste it.